Hello. I first want to apologize for being gone for so long. I've been really inconsistent in how I've been releasing, but since the world is in shambles right now, I'm going to have plenty of free time on my hands. I'm going to be postponing my other series until after the 2021 Olympics. I think it's going to be a nice end to the trilogy to end it alongside the end of Burrow's career. I'm also going to be doing these videos as commentary now because text just takes way too long to edit and after some feedback from you guys you've told me it's much harder to follow. My focus today is going to be on the Russian tank, world and Olympic champion Abdul Rashid Sedulayev, and what cues from his opponents trigger what responses from him. One thing about Sedulayev is that although his body type doesn't grant him much reach or great leverages, he's able to score a lot of offensive points because of his great hip mobility and explosiveness from several different positions. He has a mix of offense from leg attacks, to short offense, to parterre, and if you've been watching him for a while, you'll notice the offensive option he chooses is based off what opportunity his opponent gives him. For example, if his opponent snaps him down, he'll use their pulling inertia and convert it into his own blast double. One of several patterns that have been drilled again and again and again into his wrestling. These patterns are often done from inside the tie, so on film they're a lot harder to notice and not as flashy to look at but they are very effective. For those of you who've been wrestling for a long time, you've probably noticed that a lot of wrestling is just flash memory. What I mean by that is that based off of a certain output of your opponent, you're responding in a way that's optimal. What do I mean by optimal? You are observing the body position of your opponent and responding to that position in a way that is most likely to give you a successful outcome. In this video and the next, we're going to be looking at his reaction to his opponent's overhook. We see his opponent in the blue, a practice partner on the Russian team, helping him warm up for a tournament in Paris. As soon as Blue digs an underhook to Sajulayev's left side, and I'm talking as soon, Sajulayev will go for a sweep single to his opponent's right side. This creates a torquing motion and throws Blue off balance. Like I said before, this is a flash memory movement that has been drilled over and over again. The reason why this works is because when a wrestler digs an underhook, there is a high tendency for his head to be out of position and no longer blocking, leaving him open to an attack. Underhooks are often used to slow down a match and take away some of the opposing wrestler's offensive options 
but one thing that can happen when digging an underhook, a wrestler can often get lazy, and that's what happened here. Sajulayev's sweep signal to the opposite side takes advantage of that laziness. We are at the end of part one. I'll see you in part two, where we'll look at the application of this technique in his actual matches. Before you go, please leave a comment and be sure to tell me how I can make improvements. Let me know what portions of the video I go too fast. Let me know what portions of the video I put in unnecessarily, because feedback is super important for me. Without feedback, I can't make improvements. Also, leave a like because I need your validation to continue living. Thank you.